Hello and good morning. My name is John. I am a tour guide with Depot Adventures, and today I am going to get tested for COVID-19. Um, the government has put up these drive through testing sites all over the state and said if you feel unwell, you should go. Uh, yesterday, I woke up very congested, uh, very tired. I'm not someone who sleeps very much. I don't, take a lot, I don't take a lot of naps. I had a full night's sleep, and then I accidentally took an hour and a half nap, which is quite out of character for me. Um, have a headache. Um, not all the symptoms correspond with COVID, but the government says if you, if you think you might be unwell, go get tested. And so I'm going to go do that so I don't end up going to the grocery store or do my essential shopping. Here in Victoria, where I am right now, we have a situation where, we're, where we are in a stage three lockdown. Stage three lockdown means that we are not allowed to leave the house except for four essential reasons. Those four reasons are medical, um, going to work, daily exercise, or, ooh, I'm gonna forget the other one, work, medical, exercise, essential supplies. Those are the only four reasons we're going. So right now I'm leaving for medical reasons. Anyway, I feel a little bit nervous about it. Um, one of the ways I uh, get address my nervousness is that I'll film it so that I can uh, hopefully feel a little bit less nervous and uh, also hopefully show the people here what it's like to go to a drive through COVID testing center. Um, so if you're feeling nervous about it as well, you can see what it's like before you go. So, All right, I am back here in the future. Uh, I was not able to film the event, it turns out, uh, but I wanted to give you the play-by-play -play so you know what happened. When I arrived at the Bunnings, the hardware store here in Australia, I went to the car park and big signs were up that said, please respect the privacy of our staff, no filming or photography. And that seemed fair enough to me for these frontline healthcare workers, so I took down my camera and then I waited. There were about two dozen cars in the queue. Uh, as I pulled forward, there was a healthcare worker wearing a mask and a face shield who asked me some questions about if I was in a hot spot, what my symptoms were. I showed my driver's license, I showed my Medicare card. She wrote it all on a paper, put that paper on the windscreen, and then I pulled forward to the next worker. The next worker had the kit that was gonna do the test. She looked at the paper, she confirmed my name and my phone number. Uh, they said I would find out in three days time by a text message. And until that time, I am not allowed to leave the boundary that you are on right now. This is the farthest I can go because I am isolated at home until I find out. Um, after that, uh, she gave, put the kit that had the little biohazard symbol on it and it said urgent because they're getting these tests back so quickly. And she took this test um, and put the paper inside with the test, put it on my windscreen and instructed me to pull forward once again. Each time I stopped, I had to turn off my engine uh, because we were undercover and so they wanted to make sure there were no fumes. One of the healthcare worker who did the actual test was very uh, friendly and quite funny as well. Uh, she said, don't be scared. I said, I'm a little bit scared, because I was. Uh, and she said, I'm sorry. She was actually, no, I'm not sorry, in kind of a jokey way. And then she took a long Q-tip, and she's, all right, first we're gonna put it in your throat, open your mouth and look back, and she swabbed the back of my throat. Um, I would put it, uh, it's not a pleasurable experience. I would not put it as something I would do again. One star review for me, I would not repeat, uh, but it is my duty, I feel, to do that in, uh, in this day and age. Um, I probably would rank it, I would go to eight dentist appointments before doing the test again, <laughs> um, but that wasn't an option in this case. Um, when she did it, I literally did a, like did the kind of gag reflex, because I had it. Then she did the nostril, I went way up there and she kind of twisted the Q-tip a bit. It was very uncomfortable. Uh, I was like kind of grabbing onto my pant legs and being a big wuss <laughs> about it. Uh, my eyes started gushing water immediately. And so I was like crying. <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing to be fair. And then I thought it was done and she said, okay, now the next nostril. And so she did the next nostril. Uh, and that was that. That was the COVID test. I said, did you get everything you needed? She said, yes. I said, thank God. Thank you very much. And then I left with my dignity partially intact. Look, it wasn't a, a pleasurable experience, uh, to say the least, but it is good that I got it because now I will know for certain before I leave my property again, whether I am one of these spreaders. I really think it's uh, the sort of thing that we all have an obligation to do uh, to try to get out of this crazy COVID time. So that was my experience with COVID-19. 
if you've had a similar experience, please let me know what it's like in the comments below. Um, because I don't, I'm the first one of anyone I know who doesn't have like a health condition or surgery who's gotten it preventatively. And I'd like to know what other people think, uh, thought of it as well, and if they had the same experience. Um, if you don't know me, I'm a tour guide here in Melbourne. My company is called Depo Adventures. That's why I'm wearing the hat right now. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video, it would be super helpful if you subscribed because we're doing videos about all the things we love about Melbourne every single day and we would love an audience. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with another video.